departing English coast. On course on time, sir. Savage to crew. 10,000 feet, go on oxygen. How's he doing now, Bob? Real bad, General. We gotta do something. Top gunner, three FWs at 12 o'clock high. Four coming around from one. Watch him, Benny. Watch him. We gotta do something. Bishop, you come back here. Mellon, calm down. Take over, Bob. High. A QM production. Starring Robert Lansky. Also starring John Larkin. Frank Overton. With special guest star Andrew Bryan. Tonight's episode, Follow the Leader. I don't know, sir. That's General Savage in the lead plane, sir. He must have some wounded. Yes. Yes, I see the flares. Yes, sir.
in now. All right, hurry up, duck in the nose. My navigator. It's a stomach wound. He's bleeding inside. They're all back. He was dead before you landed, General. General, I would like to commend this bombardier, Lieutenant Mellon. Good work, Mellon. The navigator was his closest friend. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Things happen. Yes, sir. Sir, your plane's got a lot of battle damage. I want 21 of them in commission by tomorrow, Sergeant. General, how do we know about the rest? You'll work around the clock, Nero. Yes, sir. We'll get them ready somehow. The old man is concerned about you, Frank. Oh, you think you're down here? No, coming was my own idea. You've made every flight from this base so far. You want to keep on going up? As long as I have to. Well, who determines this? I do, Wiley. Frank, the cold, hard fact of the matter is you're not expendable. Are they? Not very good, Frank. A little improvement is not enough. Oh, it is. I hope they like the pretty pictures. Take it easy, Bob. It goes very deep, Frank. Frank, we only have one hope of shortening this war. That is daylight precision bombing. And we're not improving fast enough. Wiley, are you ready to try a new tactic? What did you have in mind? Something I've been thinking about ever since I got here. Look, Wiley, we put up our maximum aircraft today. Well, that means the 21 bombardiers aimed and dropped separately. And a couple of hits, some came close. Now, there's a way off. Go on. That bombardier. Mellon. He's been outstanding on every mission. Today he did a fine job on distress. He was on target again. Next mission. I want every bombardier to drop on Mellon. When he drops, they drop. You want the entire group to depend upon the aim of one bombardier? On its best bombardier. I'm responsible, and if it goes wrong, it's my neck. It won't go wrong. You want to gamble with my money. But you'll end up ahead. If it works, you're the hero. If it doesn't work, you know better than that, Wiley. Let's not shout at each other, Frank. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right. I'm going back to wing. I'll leave it this way, Frank. You just better be right. Catch up to you. Come in. Stand up. How do you? Just I'd like to talk to Mellon. Yes, sir. I was just going. So now, first of all, that was a very good job today, especially under the circumstances. I recommended a citation for you. Thank you, sir. Bob, I. What? Nothing, sir. Is Cram's bed? Yes, sir. Bob, the record shows that you're the best bombardier in this group. You have a talent for it. Now, I need that talent now. I don't understand, sir. I want you to aim for the group. The whole group? That's right. You'll be the lead bombardier. The others will watch you. They'll drop when you drop. 
How yeah. about that? But, um, well, there are a few who outrank me, sir. I, I'm not bucking for rank or anything like that, but some of the others... When you sight on a target, do you know you're going to hit that target? Yes, sir. Even those times when I miss. Okay. Okay, that wasn't so tough to admit, was it? He was, uh, he was your best friend, wasn't he? We went all the way through training together. I suppose somehow apologies are in order, but I don't... I don't know who makes them or how or why. How old are you about? Twenty, sir. Twenty. When I was twenty, I was just learning how to fly. And it was fun. We... Let's go get some of that chair. Information, General, both eardrums are inflamed. Raw as beef steak. Well, I can hear if as long you as I fly, can. you'll burst those eardrums before you reach 20,000 feet. You milk toast quacks are all alike. As long as I can climb into a cockpit, I'm going to fly. No, General, you're staying on the ground. Now don't tip. Come in! Sir, we've got 19 ships ready to fly. I asked for 21. He asked us to work around the clock. We did. Right, sir, we're all right. Anything else, sir? Yes, there is something else. You get those other two planes ready today. Yes, sir. Are you leading today, sir? If you bust your eardrums, General, you could be out for the duration. Yeah, I guess there's no use arguing with the umpire, are you? Okay, Joe, you take it. I'll leave the next one. We're uh, bombing on Mellon. You're set on that? What's your reservation? Yesterday's mission was rough on them. We can't hold our hands after rough missions, Joe. They've all got to get used to them. If you'll permit my saying this, General, they're only boys, most of them. The Air Force says they're men, Doc. And they're proving it. If they're not, we're finished. Anything else, sir? No, thanks, sir. It's a good one, Joe. We we'll sure try. You all set, Jeff? All checked out here, sir. Let's get going. Nice.
little easy to fly, sir? For me, it is, Harry. I wish I were younger. You really want to go out? They sound foolish coming from the only grandfather in the group, but I do. When I was a boy, the mail planes used to fly over the farm. And I'd wave at them. Once or twice, the pilot even waved back at me. That's all I wanted. Just to be up there, be a flyer. We get around a lot of other things. Marriage, kids. Just quick landings and takeoffs. I suppose I've missed out on something. Yes, sir. I think you have. They're heading in, General. I'm getting a reading. How many? I don't know yet, sir. They're approaching the field! two of his engines and asked me to take over the lead. They were dropping back over the channel, but they radioed they tried to make base. What happened? The strike report was inconclusive. As near as I could figure it, General. All our bombs fell way short. Are you sure? I don't know, sir. My, my bombardier said the visibility was very hazy, but he thought that Mellon dropped his bombs prematurely. And we... All dropped in him. All right, let's go see what those pictures show. Oh, Frank. I came right down. We are in serious trouble. Yes, sir, I know. But what you may not know, there's already been a complaint filed by the Dutch Embassy. You know it was right in the middle of the area that your entire group unloaded on? A school. All right, how bad was it? Well, the wires are melting from the United States Ambassador in London to Eisenhower, to Spots, to Pritchard, and to me. Now, the brick stops here. There had better be a good answer. General Sandwich. Yes, Harvey. Uh, Cobb's here, sir, with the bishop's crew. Send them in. Oh, yes, sir. Gentlemen. You've been Major Cobb, leader of the mission, the bishop, Mellon, Lieutenant Zimmerman, our lead navigator. Gentlemen, today's gross error has already had international repercussions. I think we better get to the bottom of it, quick. Major, what happened? Well, General, it started out like a perfect bomb run after we turned at the IP. Lieutenant Mellon was lined up just right on the briefed heading and... Come to the point. I don't know what went wrong, General. Mellon, I hope you can tell us. I have no explanation, sir. I, I had to target my sights all the way and... I don't know how I could have missed that far. 
Mellon has never come close to a gross error in his life. It must have been a malfunction or battle damage. Well? The bomb site seemed to be working perfectly, General Crow. Sergeant Nero's checking it out now. Well, how soon will we know? Yes, Sergeant Nero. Bob, did you take any hits while you were on the bomb run? Yes, sir, we took some flak. Was there any flak after the bomb run, Lieutenant? Yes, sir, quite a bit. Nero, General Savage, have you checked out the bomb site yet? Then you don't know whether there was damage to the site before or after you dropped. I'm still checking it out. There's no way of telling when any damage was incurred, if it was. But I think we've settled one point. We can't afford to gamble on the accuracy of a single bombardier. Sir, I want to say that this... Just a minute, Frank. I think we can excuse this crew. But before they go, I want them to know that unless mechanical error is proved, I no longer consider them qualified to lead further missions. Sir, I have just prepared a recommendation for a DFC for one member of this crew. Aside from that, if the day comes when I cannot assign my crew as I see fit or run my own outfit, I will ask to be relieved. That'll be all, gentlemen. That's strong language to use in front of a crew. My crew's wildly. Now you hit them, you hurt them. If you want me to step down, I just want say, you to be sensible. I believe Frank. in this tactic. Despite what happened today, Frank, your entire group missed its mark. A school was hit. We don't know why it happened. Your lead bombardier Mellon missed. That's why. Are you sure, Wiley? Are you certain it was Mellon's fault? Or do you admit it can be a mechanical failure? Well, of course it can. Right, be. Then we have to make sure. Now the old methods haven't been working. This one can. I believe it will. I'm not going to give it up because of one gross error. Too much depends on being right. Absolutely right. And if I am still in command here tomorrow, I am going to bomb off my leader again, just the way we did it today. You'd risk an entire mission to prove this out. Finally, there was a time when you risked an entire crew. For me. Why? I believed in you, Frank. Well, have you stopped now? Yeah.
I'm not saying the eardrums aren't better, sir, but I still recommend you wait one more day. Well, I go along with you, Doc, if it weren't for this target. I'll say a few words to you. Yesterday we tried a new tactical concept, bombing on the leader. Well, gentlemen, it didn't work out. Not yesterday. Now, I am not alibying for anyone. When I say that yesterday's gross error was almost certainly due to a mechanical failure. Now, today we have to go back to the same target and do the job right. There will be no evasive action once we turn on to the bomb run. And we can't afford to miss this target again, so we are making an extra long bomb run. Same tactics as yesterday, a bomb on the leader. I'll be flying with the lead crew, that is Bishop's crew. The same crew as yesterday. Spotting us. It should be 
going to sue him, so keep your eyes peeled. General, intercept station report. The Luftwaffe is coming up in force. The 918th is going to have it rough, sir. You know, you're going to stop Savage from bombing off the leader again. Any second thoughts? Many, sir. But it's command responsibility, and I've accepted it. When do we hit the primary target? Right about now, sir. Sure cost me money, sir. Well, if there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Yes, sir, General. Be 
Beecher. Get all that flack out of here. Just about. Doc didn't need no mind detector to find it, neither. I recommended you for an air medal. Well, sir, that figures. Take a little metal out, put a little on. Hi, Bob. How do you feel? I'm all right, General. Do you feel like talking? I guess so, sir. Did you observe where our bombs hit? Uh, no, sir, I didn't. Over 70% inside a thousand foot circle. Well, that's all right. <laughs> sir. Well, it's just lucky for us that you weren't hit before bombs away. Glad I could come through for you, sir. Could I ask a question? Yeah, sure, Bob. Well, come on. Yeah. Sir. Why did you bet everything on me? Because you had the training, you had the intelligence, you had the skill. And I was sure you had the character. When we can't rely on you, Bob, then we're licked. But we're not licked yet, are we? No, sir. No, sir, we're not. Thank you for making me go through it, General. Maybe you should thank General Crow. I don't understand, sir. Fifteen years ago, I took off a three-engine job. Plane stalled 500 feet. Crashed just off the field. Everybody was killed except myself. There was an inquiry to determine whether it had been mechanical failure or my fault. Well, the inquiry didn't resolve the question. I never would have resolved it in my own mind if Wiley Crow hadn't persuaded me to fly again. Uh, here are the strike folders. I thought you might want to keep them. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. 